My name is Maurice Bikai. I'm a visual artist from uh, Congo, Kinshasa. Uh, I've trained as a, as a sculptor, but uh, in Kinshasa, I already learned how you know, to be a cross-disciplinary artist. That's how I define myself. Uh, moving from one media to another. Uh, I've learned sculpture, I did a bit of a ceramic and painting, and then uh, done my undergrads uh, uh, in visual communication. So I've been living in South Africa for almost 15 years now, and I've been confronted uh, to contemporary arts. So from one performance that I did, uh, I'm riding a horse bandaged, so that uh, kind of triggered my artistic mind. And I um, pursued my study here, did my master's in, in fine art uh, at UCT Michaelis. And the art for me is part of me. I think of something and I want to reproduce it in art form. Uh, during my master's I've learned how to use photography, and, and performance as an extension of what I already uh, learned. So I use it as an analogy to, to talk about something else, to talk about the contemporary technology. So because the contemporary technology is also an addiction. And then to, to put two, those two addictions together, it gives you a costume that you wear. And then it's the mobility going on. And also uh, my way of using this garden, the computer part is also um, a, for me, uh, recycle those uh, those stories imprinted onto the keys and making an object and wearing it and moving around with those stories and then when you look at fashion in my country fashion uh, it's an inst instrument that is being used to resist against dictatorship against economic crisis against uh, political crisis as we call the dandies from the Congo sapper they use uh, fashion to express themselves uh, and it's almost like a religion in my, in my country. It's been very much addictive. My project of feature, I would like to see myself making more arts. And uh, some of the challenging works, how to represent it in, in the space, you know, I like to, to express it in a, you know, some bigger platforms. Uh, that's how I see myself in the future.